policeman's dream. Yep. Lucy sets it up for us every night. <sighs> terrible, terrible tragedy. Yes. This is Special Agent Dale Cooper. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. Because, you know, I think I'm going to be here for some time. And these motels, they'll promise you a good rate. And when you get there, it's a whole different story. Now, all I need is a bed, a bathroom, a telephone, and sometimes a television in the unlikely event that one day I'll get a chance to knock off early. I can get you a good rate up the Great Northern. Sold. Well, tomorrow comes early. Telephone works, bathroom in really tip-top shape, no drips, plenty of hot water, and good steady pressure. That could be a side benefit of the waterfall outside my window. Mattress fur, but not too firm, and no lumps, like that time I told you about down in El Paso. What a nightmare that was. But of course, you've heard me tell that story once or twice, haven't you, Diane? Haven't tried the television set yet. Looks like cable, probably no reception problems. But the true test of any hotel, as you well know, Diane, is that morning cup of coffee, which I'll be getting back to you about within a half hour. Look at that. Ducks on the lake. <sighs> Fellas, don't drink that coffee. You'd never guess. There was a fish in the percolator. Sorry. If I had a fight with her, if I sang songs with her, if I went skipping rope with her, what difference does it make? I didn't kill her. Bobby, here's how this works. We ask the questions, and you answer the questions that we ask, briefly and to the point. OK, Cooper. You going to let me in on whatever the hell is going on here? Sheriff, we got a lot to talk about. 